Hey folks, well I'm back at doing a little more work on the quadcopter. I've decided, I took a few preliminary measurements and I think I'm going to make, I think what they consider uh, right around a 500 millimeter quadcopter and uh, using my tape measure, 500 millimeter, it's about 20 inches from here to here. Now I may be mistaken, maybe that's not how they measure it. That's how I'm going to do it or anyhow. So I kind of measured roughly how to get 20, mil 20 inches and that gives me about coming out around 14, 14 and a half inches from center out on the arm. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out 14 and a half inches on each one, cut them off, make it a little more manageable on the workbench and then I'll get to working on maybe figuring out how I'm going to mount the motors as well as the electronics and uh, maybe make the battery plate on the bottom so first things first I'll measure out here and cut these off so I got the four uh, square uh, plates made but I hit a bit of a snag simply that well maybe maybe not because if I pop rivet this thing on and then I try to mount this on a flat surface I'm going to have issues and you can see how these uh, holes if you can, maybe you can see there you go there's smaller holes are the mounting holes for the screws so I may have to do some uh, careful uh, measuring here hopefully so that the uh, whatever I use to mount this to this will line up with the bigger holes either that or but now that I think about it maybe I can use something like these countersink heads and I can countersink it enough that this will be flush with the aluminum plate won't leave a ton of meat but should be enough and then that way it doesn't matter where this lines up it'll sit flush on top of the head I think that's probably the best bet so what I'll do is I will uh, drill I'm going to use two of these screws to mount the plate and then I'm going to hang this plate off the edge a bit so there's three screw holes in here the last one will be off the edge so that it clears all this. So there will be two screws here holding this plate on and two screws holding this plate on and one, two, three which will be off the edge of this to hold the motor on. Hopefully it will work. We'll find out shortly. So I'm going to uh, or maybe I mount the plate at an angle like that. It might actually be not too bad either. Instead of mounting it square, follow the theme of this plate and mount it mount it this way. Now it'll give me a little bit extra room at the point so the screw that holds on the uh, the plate will clear. Yeah, that'll actually work better. The screws that hold the plate on will be at each point and this will sit inside and mount. So there you go figured it out, talked it through and uh, figured it out so I'm going to uh, mount this up and see if that plan works or not. Wish me luck. Alright, I got the uh, plate mounted. I used pop rivets instead of the uh, screws just to stick with the theme that I've got going with the rest of the uh, frame. As you can see maybe, plenty of room in between to get the motor in and uh, the motor mount screws will go one here one here and then one in the center through both either here 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 or here here and here I don't don't know which one which way I think it's gonna work out alright so I just need to get the uh, other three done and then I'll move on to either the electronics uh, tray or whatever you want to call it or maybe the plate underneath to hold the battery. Stay tuned. Alright, as you can see I got all the uh, plates on and the little motor mount brackets mounted. 
the motors pull off of the uh, mounts, there's just two set screws that hold it in. So that's how you can get them on easier. It made it easier to locate the holes and whatnot. So it's on there nice and tight. I may have to uh, let me take these sharp points off. But as you can see, here's the actual brushless motor. It spins on this shaft here. And all it does is fits down in like that, and then there's two set screws that hold it in. So it's nice because then you can clock it exactly where you need to for, uh, let me turn it here. So I, that way I can clock it perfectly and have the wires run down right on top of the arm to the speed controllers, which I'll mount probably somewhere in here so they get a bit of prop wash to keep cool. And as well, I don't know why I didn't think of this, I don't need to make a plate up here to mount the uh, electronics because where are they here? There's the one thing. All I need to do is make some posts to raise them up a little bit. Because the uh, controller and the power distribution board. Uh, come on out. Have the holes in them. All I need to do is mount them up with a post. Mount one, put another with mount uh, power distribution and then have some more uh, um, posts or spacers or whatever Come on. to put this on top so they kind of stack. Now I don't know if I can put this down through the center. I may desolder this and drop it through the center so it's a little more low profile but uh, yeah, so that'll sit like that. That'll sit right on top, right in the center. And then uh, can just have a spot for the receiver. And that's all that'll be mounted on here. And the receiver can mount right to the uh, right to the plate with some maybe a couple thicknesses of double-sided uh, foam tape to help with vibration. Now, the only thing I'm trying to think of is what I'm going to make use for spacers because I don't really want to use aluminum because it'll transmit the vibration through to the uh, the board so I'm thinking if I look in my drawer here junk I've got all this styrene that I ordered for the Jeep project maybe I can use some of this styrene no, eh, it's a little big I don't know if that's going to work. I'll figure something out. Maybe I will have to use aluminum spacers and I can just use some O-rings or something to help try to isolate it a bit. Ah, we'll figure it out. So really, the only thing left to do besides fix how flexible this is, you can see how easy that is to bend. Say I'm going to throw some oak or something in there shore it up or maybe I'm gonna to have to put some braces across I don't know we'll see because I know it's not gonna fly worth the darn with that flexibility as soon as the motors torque over it's gonna to want to flex and bend so the thing's gonna go every which direction but uh, like I was saying the next step is just to make a tray on the bottom for the battery now I think I'll mark it doesn't really matter which just arbitrarily mark which is the front so that'll be the front. So I think I'll make the battery tray run this way on the bottom. It's just going to be a metal plate, same thing with posts. They can be solid. And then below that I'll be able to mount my uh, Contour Roam camera. That'll almost be done. The only other thing I'll have to do is figure out some sort of landing gear. So I'm going to go and uh, sort out this plate and show you that uh, finished result once it's mounted. Well what do you know? I don't have to cut out a plate because I just happen to have on my bench an old axial uh, battery plate from the original Scorpion AX10 and I'm going to be using 20, 2100, 2200, 3-cell LiPos which I have one right here, it's 2100 and look at that it's perfect along with 
slots, four slots to tape the battery in, as well as existing holes. So all I really got to do is measure up and locate these holes, make some posts, long enough screws mounted up and voila, there's my uh, battery hold down plate. No, it's Okay, well for the posts, I actually found two uh, axial posts I had for uh, from something else, I can't remember what it's for. Too bad I didn't have four of them, but whatever. And so what I decided to do is I had some solid rod, so I made two more posts. Oh, sorry. Two more posts, I drilled, center drilled with my lathe and tapped it. We'll see, maybe I'll get fancy and use my lathe to uh, machine it so it looks like that, but I'm not going to waste that kind of time right now because who knows if this thing will fly properly or not. And as well, if you look, they're quite a bit taller than the battery, so that'll give me some uh, space for that one, uh, for that nut that comes up the center. So now, I'm going to find the right bin with the hex screws, and these are the ones. Good deal, these, I sure like this kit. I actually ended up accidentally ordering two, but I'm glad I did, because it's got a nice selection of certain sizes, but some of the other sizes, there's not that many of them. Like these little guys here, I've used most of them already. But looking at this, I'm thinking, let's see, put this through. Those ones will work pretty good. But I, I need to deburr this backside a little bit. So. I got my trusty Milwaukee uh, M18 cordless drill. Great, uh, great drill. I'm just going to use this big bit. I do have a countersink, but the point is too sharp. It doesn't bevel these out very good. So we'll just do this just to deburr it. Like so. things sit flat. That's good. Do this side too. Might as well. There. Now, what I'll do is, I'm not going to lock tight this because I'll be taking it all apart again just to uh, maybe t to uh, paint it or what have you or figure out some sort of finish. Thread this in. Hopefully these screws won't be too long. Nope, they bite good. There's one post. Maybe next time I go into the city, if it's going to work out, I'll see if I can get two more of these so they match, so it looks good. But I say right now, I'm not too worried about looks. I'm worried about function, and then if it works good, uh, I'll tweak it down the road. There. Hopefully I tap these down deep enough. Yep. So, now I will take when I do, uh, before I do go to fly this, I will take these screws out and put some blue Loctite on. Because so I would imagine there will be a fair bit of vibration with all those propellers spinning. And last thing I'd want was the battery to fall out. So there's those guys. Then I'll take this. Doesn't really matter which way I go. And do the same on this side. The bottom side. Leave that one loose until I get the other started. In case things don't line up quite right, they should be pretty darn close. It'll be nice having these slots in place because I've got some battery strap tape, strapping tape, or even maybe some Velcro, but tape is a little more secure. Not a big deal to tape things in and out. That way you know the battery is not going to come out. So... I'm 
I'm still going to have to figure out some sort of landing gear as well. Now, the moment of truth. Look at that. Perfect. It's going to work out fantastic. Then I can put my uh, some sort of camera down, mount down below. So let's just throw it all together now. And you'll see the final product. Well, there you go, folks. I figured I'd throw the props on there. I don't know if I got them in the right positions, but I wanted to throw them on there just to get a visual, a scale of it. These are 10 by 4.5 because I. So this isn't going to necessarily be an aerobatic chopper or quadcopter, it's going to be for hauling the camera around, so I wanted some good lift, but I think it's turning out not too shabby. There's the uh, radio tray underneath as shown, and uh, so really all I need to do now for the frame, besides shoring up the uh, arms, because I say they're a little too flexy, I should have almost went with some square stock. I don't know if I can get them lo get it locally. I might convert over to square stock, which wouldn't be a big deal. I just have to drill out these rivets, make the new arms, or whatever you want to call them, and then uh, put it back together with the new arms. That would give a lot more strength. I may do that instead of messing around with the oak. I'll have to see if my local hardware store has any of the square stock won't be that big of a deal to convert it over. The only problem I'll have is with the one screw that holds down the motor. I'd have to drill an access hole on the back side. No biggie. So yeah, it's turning out pretty good for a first try. I'm hoping it flies. should fly alright. Uh, the next video I'll have the... Uh, I'll uh, work on mounting the electronics and doing all the rest of the wiring. Until then, take care and talk to you later.